financial failures. <laughs> So uh, this is a really uh, short and sweet presentation. Uh, short because it's it's not too much to cover. It's very straightforward, uh, and sweet because uh, it's a it's something that a lot of you have been asking for, and it's finally available uh, for the Agri Criteria Service. Previous to V twenty ten oh eight, in the Agri Criterion Service, when you made mutate mutate calls, uh, let's say one of your criterion objects was invalid. If that was invalid and caused your call to fail, then the entire everything else would have failed as well. So with V2010-08, we've actually introduced partial failures, which allows you to send all your criterion objects in. Uh, if a few of them are, are in an invalid state, those ones will get reported in a partial failures uh, section of the SOAP, uh, in your SOAP response. Uh, but everything else will have gone through. So to enable it, you just have to set the, the SOAP header partial failure equal to true. Uh, again, this is only for the Agri Criterion service. It's not available for any other uh, services right now. So uh, here you can see that, that header is set from the request. Um, and we have a bunch of different criterion objects that we're passing in. The one bolded there is invalid. And if that was among a whole bunch of other invalid, uh, otherwise valid criterion objects, previously without partial failures, you just get a, you just get a soap fault. Uh, your entire thing just failed. It tells you which operations and which related operand failed in that call. With partial failures, this is what the response would look like. Get your ad, you get your uh, ad group criteria return value, uh, as you would expect, for any criterion objects that did go through successfully. Uh, for any of them that were invalid, they'll be returned in a partial, fail partial failure errors element. Um, and there you could identify each of the ones that were valid, fix those separately, and then send those ones only individually for, um, for uh, to give it another try. So this is a, a, an, an example using the Java Client Library, uh, showing how you reduce partial failures, um, so you you have your operations all set up. You make the mutate call. Uh, for any of them that were successful, you can iterate through those and check that yes, these are these have been set and they're appropriate. Uh, then you can check the partial failures in your results, see if that's not null. If not, that means there there were a few that had some problems. Loop through those, fix those, prepare your next operation, uh, and then send for mutate again. Uh, so in review, it's still in beta. It's only available for the Agri Criteria service. Uh, you just have to set the soap header to a partial failure equal to true to enable it. Um, and then finally, look for the partial failure error in your responses to identify them. 